With the introduction of radio nodes and radio transmitter nodes, additional functionality has been added that will allow you to automatically reconnect imported radio nodes to a transmitter. Let's take a look at a sample transmitter. Open its node properties and in here we will find a checkbox allow automatic reconnect or node import. At the time of recording this tutorial I'm not yet sure if this will be ticked on by default, however in my current node graph on all these radio nodes or sorry all these radio transmitter nodes it is turned on while on any other transmitter node it is turned off. I will select this part of my graph so only the radio nodes that are connected to these transmitters and anything downstream from them but nothing that is actually connected and choose right mouse click file export nodes and then just save this out which will save out my selected nodes into a file. I'm going to delete all of these nodes and then just re-import them. Let me move this in position. Oops, I lost some backdrops here. Well, let me just get rid of those. Now, you can already see that Mari automatically reconnected my radio nodes. So all these are automatically reconnected to the original source. There's another node that went a bit off. So based on the name that exists in this radio node, Mari reconnected it to the source transmitter. This will only work, first of all, if the import radio nodes no longer have any connection. So if there's an existing connection, on a radio node, uh, Mari will just ignore that and not rewire it. However, if it finds one that is uh, no longer has a connection, it will check its name and try to find a corresponding radio transmitter node. Again, it will only connect if on the transmitter node, this checkbox is turned on. As you can see, all these radio nodes have not been reconnected to these transmitter nodes because here these options are turned off. There's a global override for this behavior. If you go to the preferences node graph, there's a allow automatic transmitter connections on import. And if I tick this off, basically Mari will never reconnect any radio nodes automatically, even if a matching transmitter has been found and it's automatic reconnect checkbox is ticked on. If this is ticked off globally in the preferences, it will ignore this. Now this is a really, really great tool to speed up some of your scene setup if you're using, for example, occlusions and curvatures repeatedly. And um, this way you can template things in a way that will automatically look for occlusions or any utility channel and just reconnect it. Let's take a quick look, for example, how we do this with the Mari extension pack Dynamas. So I have a project here with some different utility channels. For example, I have an Amin occlusion and some different curvature bakes and some normal map. And you can see I have it all exposed as uh, radio no transmitter nodes. And I'm gonna go file import nodes and import a pre-saved out smart material or sorry, a smart mask in this case. Just import this in. So this is a uh, Dynamask node, which is also included inside of extension pack and mimics some of the functionality that you can find inside of Quixel suit and Substance Painter in terms of masking. And you can see I've mapped some radio nodes to the different ports of this Dynamask that are required to make this node work. However, just by importing this node, you can see the connections have been automatically made to my existing bakes. So now I'm already set up and can use this mask. So it can go in here, and, you know, just do some smart masking, play with the curvature, you know, it's pretty much the same way as you're used to inside of Painter or Quixel Suit. This system obviously also works for smart materials, so let's take a quick look at that. So here I have my little shader ball, and again, some bakes are available. The curvature and amine occlusion. Exposed as radio transmitters with this checkbox turned on. Let me just import a little smart material. So I'm just going to again choose import nodes and choose one of my pre-prepared materials. So this is a material that consists of several material regions. And if I just view this, you can see I have some edge damage here and I can directly go in and make modifications to this. 
because these radio nodes have automatically been reconnected to the bakes that are required to make these nodes work. So you basically just by importing your already setup and you can start tweaking. 